buying real estate and an aircraft have at least one thing in common. Buyers are unlikely to satisfy all their needs at once with a single purchase, so they must compromise to some degree. In the case of an aircraft, there always seems to be a trade-off between payload, speed, and mission. Aircraft salesmen pitch that a specific model can satisfy every need, but the truth is that this philosophy rarely translates to operational efficiency across a wide range of operations. For example, a large cabin jet with a flight attendant and satellite internet connectivity might work well for flying several passengers non-stop across the North Atlantic. However, this is not the aircraft for an ideal CEO of a small company on a 500-mile day trip operating out of rural airports. So, if you've been looking for a private jet, you've probably noticed that many jets require a two-person crew. Of course, that second pilot increases your operating expenses. Imagine the savings of being free to hire just one pilot rather than two or just fly the jet yourself. We present to you the top 10 most efficient single pilot jets. Welcome to this episode of Dwayne's Aviation. A wise man once said, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Pilatus PC-24 Following the success of the PC-12, Pilatus aircraft started work on the jet in 2007 for an aircraft with greater range, speed, and the rugged airfield capability of the PC-12. After years of development, the PC-24 was introduced in 2013 and rolled out the following year. If you're looking for a multi-purpose powerhouse that can take you from gravel to grass or even more rudimentary runways, don't look past the PC-24. This aircraft brings years of intelligent thinking into arguably one of the best single-pilot jets in the market today. It is built for versatility. It's perfect for business executives with up to 10 passengers treated to a true office in the sky with the latest entertainment and communication devices. The PC-24 cruises at 506 miles per hour with a range of 2,300 miles. This makes it perfect for trips like Lagos to Casablanca, Johannesburg to Nairobi, and Cairo to Addis Ababa. With fuel consumption of 220 gallons per hour, the hourly cost on the PC-24 is about $2,500. The total annual budget for flying a Pilatus PC-24 private jet 200 hours per year is approximately $837,000, or $1.3 million for flying 400 hours per year. And a brand new PC-24 will cost you about $10 million. Cessna Citation CJ-4 Introduced in 2006, based on the Model 525, Cessna has long been the leader in single-pilot jet aircraft, with multiple models in its popular Citation lineup built with solo operations in mind. When describing the Citation CJ-4, Cessna refers to this jet as being at the top of the single-pilot class. This is a jet that lets you have it all. The CJ-4 redefines versatility for a light jet. The whole concept behind the Citation CJ-4 design is to deliver impressive speed, range, and cabin size for a light jet without bumping up to mid-size operating costs. With a maximum capacity of 10 occupants, the cabin is 17.3 feet long, 4.8 feet wide, and 4.8 feet tall, giving it a total cabin volume of 293 cubic feet, making it comfortable for 7 passengers even though the maximum standard seating configuration is 10. The baggage compartment can hold up to 11 bags, assuming your average piece of luggage is less than 5 cubic feet. This airplane cruises at 517 miles per hour over a maximum range of 2,500 miles. This makes it ideal for trips like Chicago to Los Angeles, Los Angeles to Atlanta, and Las Vegas to Washington, D.C. On average, it burns about 175 gallons per hour, which makes it cost around $1,970 hourly. The annual budget for flying a Citation CJ-4 200 hours per year is approximately $661,000 or 
$980,000 for flying 400 hours per year. For $10 million, you can buy this jet brand new. Embraer Phenom 300 When Embraer introduced the Phenom 100 in 2008, customers loved it, but they wanted the same design in a bigger airframe, something that can travel faster, further, and with more comfort. So, Embraer began designing the Phenom 300 in 2009. This aircraft is designed to stretch the limits of the light jet segment by creating an airplane with best-in-class performance, comfort, and utility while keeping operating costs at turboprop levels. The Phenom 300 was so successful in that regard that it has been the best-selling light business jet worldwide since its introduction. Its elegant design offers flexible and comfortable passenger accommodations while its cutting-edge technology offers a top-quality flying experience for the pilot. Plus, its efficiency makes it one of the most cost-effective aircraft in cost-per-available seat mile. For owner-operators, this single-pilot light jet is staggeringly efficient, cost-effective, and dependable, as well as a gorgeous example of functional aeronautical design. The 500 mile per hour cruise speed and 2300 mile range make it perfect for a businessman that lives in London to easily get to Moscow, Berlin, Paris, or Barcelona. The 157 gallon per hour fuel burn is okay for a jet of this size. The hourly cost is $1,757, and the total annual budget for flying 200 hours per year is approximately $631,000 or $921,000 for flying 400 hours per year. The list price is about $9.8 million. Cyberjet SJ-30 The Cyberjet's focus is to deliver revolutionary aerodynamics, advanced avionics, powerful engines, and increased cabin technologies. This jet flies further and faster than any other light jet. The SJ-30 business jets have a 2,500 nautical mile range and can fly non-stop from Los Angeles to New York or across the entire Atlantic Ocean at a top speed of 486 knots. With high-swept wings and a T-tail, the SJ-30 series jets reduce drag and increase performance. Two mid-mountain Williams FJ-44 2A engines also reduce drag, providing 2,300 pounds of thrust each. Capable of flying at a maximum altitude of 49,000 feet, the SJ-30 light jet can avoid traffic, fly above the weather, and take more direct routes to their destinations. This aircraft costs $1,600 per hour to fly, the total annual budget for flying the SJ-30 200 hours per year is approximately $630,000 or $900,000 for flying 400 hours per year. Buying this jet brand new will cost you about $8.5 million. Cessna Citation M2 Launched in September 2011, based on the then out-of-production CJ-1 variant, and featuring a new cabin layout and a more efficient FJ-44 version. The M2 was designed to take over the entry-level light jet spot from the discontinued Cessna Citation Mustang. The M2 didn't just replace the Mustang, it vastly improved upon the Mustang and gave customers looking to get into the light jet community a bona fide star. In regards to interior upgrades, Cessna hit the reset button for the Citation M2. It features the Garmin G3000 avionics suite. This gives pilots the best and most friendly avionics package on the market. With all the panels touchscreen enabled and fully integrated with the pilot's electronic flight bag, this jet gives pilots vastly more resources than its predecessor. The cabin measures 11 feet long, 4.8 feet wide, and 4.8 feet tall giving it a total cabin volume of 253 cubic feet, making it comfortable for four passengers with the maximum configuration seating seven. 
The baggage compartment can hold up to six bags, assuming your average piece of luggage is less than five cubic feet. The Citation M2 has a maximum range of 1,500 miles and a maximum speed of 453 miles per hour. The total annual budget for flying a Citation M2 private jet 200 hours per year is approximately $583,463 or $856,057 for flying 400 hours per year. With $6 million, you can get this jet brand new. Embraer Phenom 100 Work on the Phenom 100 started back in 2005 when Embraer decided to build a line of smaller jets, including the entry-level Phenom 100, to compete with Cessna and Eclipse Aviation, which several observers viewed as a major misstep. When the Phenom 100 entered the market in 2008, the Eclipse 500 had disappeared from the market as a potential competitor, leaving the Cessna Mustang and the Citation CJ-1 Plus as the targets on Embraer's radar of airplanes to beat. In comparison, the Phenom 100 also has a larger cabin than the King Air C90 turboprop, yet it burns 12% less fuel on a 700-mile trip. The cabin measures 11 feet long, 5.1 feet wide, and 4.9 feet tall, giving it a total cabin volume of 305 cubic feet, making it comfortable for four passengers with the maximum configuration seating eight. The baggage compartment can hold up to eight bags, assuming your average piece of luggage is less than five cubic feet. The Phenom 100 has a maximum range of 1,196 miles and a maximum speed of 437 miles per hour. The total annual budget for flying this jet 200 hours per year is approximately $471,000 or $711,000 for flying 400 hours per year. The price for a brand new Embraer Phenom 100 is about $4.5 million. Honda Jet The Honda Jet represents the ultimate combination of Japanese engineering and elegance. This is a master of short-range missions, perfect for trips within 1,000 miles. It uses the Honda HF120 small turbofan engines mounted on pylons above the wing, a configuration called over-the-wing engine mount by Honda Aircraft. This configuration maximizes cabin space by removing the structure required to mount engines on the rear of the fuselage. The cabin of this jet measures 12.1 feet long, 5 feet wide, and 4.8 feet tall giving it a total cabin volume of 324 cubic feet, making it comfortable for six passengers, with the maximum configuration seating six. The baggage compartment can hold up to nine bags, assuming your average piece of luggage is less than five cubic feet. The Honda Jet has a maximum range of 1,388 miles, which makes it ideal for a trip like New York to Atlanta, Houston to Miami, or Los Angeles to Las Vegas. The total annual budget for flying a Honda private jet 200 hours per year is approximately $488,000 or $747,000 if you fly 400 hours a year. To get this jet brand new will cost you about $5 million. Cessna Citation Mustang Introduced in 2006, the Citation Mustang was once one of Cessna's flagship aircraft but sadly, this jet is no longer in production. The downside is that this jet has the smallest cabin in its class. The cabin measures 9.8 feet long, 4.6 feet wide, and 4.5 feet tall, giving it a total cabin volume of 210 cubic feet, making it comfortable for four passengers with the maximum seating configuration of six. The baggage compartment can hold up to nine bags assuming your average piece of luggage is less than 5 cubic feet. The jet has a maximum range of 1,381 miles and a maximum speed of 483 miles per hour. It'll cost you $448,000 to fly this jet 200 hours yearly or $667,000 to fly 400 hours per year. Since this jet is no longer in production, you can only get a used model for less than a million and a half dollars. 
Eclipse 500. Introduced in 2006, this is the first very light jet in the world. When the jet was first introduced, it sold for only $500,000. The company's dream was to make jets as affordable as possible, but unfortunately, that dream was short-lived. Production of the Eclipse 500 was halted in October 2008 due to lack of funding, and the company entered Chapter 11 bankruptcy in November 2008. The Eclipse 500 was manufactured between 2007 and 2008. The cabin is pretty small and automobile-inspired. It measures 12.3 feet long, 4.7 feet wide, and 4.2 feet tall, giving it a total cabin volume of 109 cubic feet, making it comfortable for four passengers with the maximum configuration seating four. The baggage compartment can also hold up to three bags, assuming your average piece of luggage is less than five cubic feet. The Eclipse 500 has a maximum range of 1,294 miles and a maximum speed of 430 miles per hour, making it perfect for trips around 800 to 1,000 miles. The total annual budget for flying this private jet 200 hours per year is approximately $394,000 or $575,000 for flying 400 hours per year. Since this jet is no longer in production, you can only get a used model for less than a million dollars. Cirrus Vision Jet Designed by Cirrus Aircraft of Duluth, Minnesota, this is the most affordable private jet in the market today. If you want a turbine engine aircraft, this is your starter. It's smaller than every jet in production and the only certified single engine jet in production today. The pilot and passengers share the same space. That's because Cirrus engineers designed it for owners who also want to be the pilot. No flight crew is required. The design is made entirely of composite material, first for a production jet. The enclosed cabin measures 5.1 feet wide and 4.1 feet high. It can seat up to seven occupants. The cockpit, second and third rows each seat two, and an extra seat slides between the second and third row, but the third row is only large enough to accommodate children. The SF-50 is the first jet to come with a whole aircraft ballistic parachute, making it the safest aircraft in the light jet category. This aircraft is intended to be a step-up aircraft for pilots who have flown the Cirrus SR-20, SR-22, and other high-performance aircraft, and was developed initially for personal use and not for the corporate or air taxi industries. However, by 2019, the jet was FAR Part 135 approved for air taxi operators. This jet cruises at 350 miles per hour with a range of 1,000 miles. Flying about 200 hours yearly, the total annual budget for this jet is $350,000 or $500,000 if you fly 400 hours yearly. The price for a brand new Vision Jet is about $2.5 million. You can support us on Patreon using the link in the description. A wise man once said, subscribe for more.